Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I'm showing you today how to use your TA-84 Plus to do scientific notation calculations. I have other tutorials for this calculator in the description of this video, or if there's something you'd like to see that I don't have, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to make a video for you. For scientific notation, you can put it into scientific notation mode. That would be clicking on the mode and then on the top value there, go one to the right and hit enter, and that's going to give you your answers in scientific notation mode. But for the most part, I don't recommend that. I think we can just do this easier by using the EE button on your calculator just above the comma there. Remember scientific notation, the end should be between 1 and 10, and 1 inclusive, so it could be 1, but it can't be 10, and then an integer for the power of 10. So I'm going to do this first one, 3.7, and I'm going to do second function EE, and then 15 because that's the power, and then times, and I could use parentheses instead, but I can just use times here, that would work fine, 4.6, second function EE, and then 42, and then just hit enter, and that's going to give me this answer, so understand that this answer, if you wanted to write it out in actual scientific notation, you would say 1.702 times 10 to the 58th power. So we want to make sure we can transfer between what we see on the calculator and what's on our paper, or what should be on our paper. In the second one, I'm going to actually add these. I was going to multiply, but I decided to add instead. So 5.02, second function EE, the power is negative 12. Make sure when you put the negative in, you're using this negative button at the bottom. And then we're adding um, 8.23 second function EE negative 16 and then just hit enter and it's going to give you this answer. I'm going to just go out two places because that was what we have for significant digits so I think that's okay. And then times 10 to the negative 12. So remember the E negative 12 means times 10 to the negative 12. In the next one we're going to divide. I can uh, put parentheses around the numerator but I don't need to for this so I'm just going to go ahead and enter 4.75 second function EE, negative 40, and then divide by, um, whoops, I didn't do division. Remember, you can always go back and type over that, divide by 7.34, um, second function EE, negative 16, and hit enter, and that's going to give you this answer. Um, so I'm going to round that to two places as well, since we have two, two digits in our problem, 6.74, times 10 to the negative 25th. Okay, also, if you have something that's in incorrect scientific notation, this is incorrect because this number is not between 1 and 10, and you didn't know for sure if this would become 18 or 16, you can put that into your calculator. Go ahead and enter it as it is, 52.6 um, second function EE, um, 17th power and then hit enter and what that's going to do is it's going to fix it for you because it's going to recognize that was not correct scientific notation 5.26 times 10 to the 18th would be correct we can do that one more time let's say i have negative 484.7 and second function ee to the negative 12 i like negative 12 a lot in this problem it's problems that i see hit enter and it's going to fix that for us negative 4.8 for 7 times 10 to the negative 10th because we needed to move that decimal point two places in that case. What happens if you have something that's not an integer? Remember that was supposed to be one of our, our requirements. Second function EE to the 0.5, it's going to give you an error message because you can't do that. Okay, the other thing you can do is if you have a number like this, 5, 7, 3, 2, zero, six, whatever. I don't even know what I've typed in there. It doesn't matter. I put some number and I want to know like what would that be in scientific notation? Well, what I can do is go up here second, um, not second, just go to mode and then go over to scientific notation and hit enter, then quit and then hit enter. And all of a sudden, that number that you had is going to show you what the scientific notation form of that is if you needed to change that. Remember, though, if you do that, then go ahead and put your calculator back into normal mode after you've done that if you just wanted to know that one number. You don't want to spend a bunch of time in scientific notation accidentally. 
All right, that's it for this one. I hope you have a great day.